We're gonna be seeing Lonesome. Okay, Lonesome. Oh wait, Lonesome just <laughs> subscribed, and he's fighting nice. on stream. Power so Lonesome up. is gonna be fighting. C John plus. Fortnite Kennedy. JFK. Not, who is John Fortnite Kennedy? Uh, well, he was on. I don't know him personally. He's a he's a mass player. The ma he's from Massachusetts. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. I guess New England player, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he's specifically from Mass. Yeah, he's a New England player. Like him, Mile. Uh, uh, I like see. the other two guys. It's interesting. Uh, so, um, I, I help run a local in New Jersey on Friday nights, and I'm just surprised to see a lot of like New England representation come out because yes. we had a we had a Master JJ at the, from Connecticut at our at our local last night, and it's like, hmm, that's a long way <gasps> oh, to go. Oh what my a god! Tech. But he was dead. <laughs> he did not need yeah. to do that. And right now, lonesome like. A lot of this, like, set has been so far, they're just scrapping at each other. Fantastic up the out of shield coming from Lone, though. Taking out the stock, and he's only at 64% is what I would say. Almost getting a little something. I don't think he knew that he picked up the bomb, because he was very clearly going for a forward there. But I can't exactly guess. I mean, bomb forward air might, might have also worked, but the pro that's the issue with vertical combos is fall speed is such a variable among the cast. So it's hard to trace along the. Yeah. It's hard to trace along your opponent when every opponent plays a different character. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I just. Something, something caught in my throat. All is good. And right now, Lonesome is just doing a fantastic job of controlling all the ground space. That was um, back here. JFK, that's what I'm going to call him. We're just going to call him JFK. He saved him. Both of these about... players are just saving each other. They, 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 oh. wanna, they want their kills to be genuine, and by I God, that's saved melee. You so I could bring shame to your whole family. Oh my god, and Lonesome's angle on the arrow was perfect, but JFK just snapped to ledge a little bit too early, and that is going to be the F deal off the stage. Uh, rising with the forward air and hitting the bomb into into Lonesome in, as he detonates it, and he keeps going with this vertical extension, and that's 82 in a blink of an eye. And he made it back to Spike. What a beautiful down <laughs> Like, Let's go, Falco. When Falco. Link throws out neutral air, he's extending his hitbox. He's extending his hitbox. Right. Right? And it's just like basically like, okay, I have a disjointed spike. I am going to now beat you neutral What a fantastic down air killing so. off he, the top. He was going for that setup a couple times yep. against uh, Stock Taker earlier in the earlier in the day. And with the bomb on ledge, it makes you want to jump and grab that bomb so you don't have it worrying about uh, interacting with it or, t or uh, detonating it. And that down air... It's just in the right spot to And if once he does hit the bomb, it's actually going to help him bounce off. Fantastic Falco commitment fantastic. to the four leader off the stage. And right now, he's going to struggle to make it back a great back throw off the stage. Really perfectly timed shield, but the rollback, Lonesome was ready for it with the down smash. Just amazing option coverage over and over. JFK is looking to get something started, maybe something reflected with his downbeat. Unable to find it, you see Lonesome maybe being a little bit more conservative with his projectile usage now. That's something that I'm not really a huge fan of that JFK seems to be going for is a lot more of these dash grabs. Falco doesn't. Falco has a really solid up throw and gets a lot of conversions out of it, but you don't want to be whiffing those grabs. And with Falco's kind of mediocre full dash speed, yeah, yeah that's a and that's a strong hit. Not killing Falco, not being necessarily one to have a particularly potent F smash. I wonder why he didn't go for just the up tilt back air. Was he at too high of a percent, perhaps? Maybe he was just not confident in the conversion enough and just wanted to go. Good DI. Sorry, I cut you off. You're good, don't worry about it. You're all good. I like how his tag's just damn irrelevant, but. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like he has to find a way to get back, unable to see the back end. What? The bomb sent him at an angle that I wasn't prepared for, and I, thankfully, uh, JFK seemed to be. And he's been doing such a great job when off stage to avoid not only avoid Link's traps, but save his own jump. Yeah. As the landing hitbox of Fair comes out and the directly, uh, what, a 45 degree angle to the left, sending him off the top. And I think that was a great mix up on Lone's part because normally when somebody is pulling a bomb off stage, you expect them to go for the bomb recovery. Right. And so you saw JFK position himself to be able to punish a high bomb recovery. But Lone was mixed. Lone mixed it up so that he threw the bomb at him when he was going to punish the high recovery. What? That's just like an amazing play from Unlonesome's part. It's like set play only in the first game. They're both like they're both aware of the bread and butters of their of Link and potentially of both of of each either's character, each other's character. But 
the added, the then immediate mix-up of throwing the bomb on stage to just to yep. snipe out, snipe out a jumping Falco because of course he's jumping. Really solid stuff. Uh, yep. As we see the triplat, the small triplat with with the slants though. Yoshi's melee or Yoshi's story, whichever you prefer. The back kill into the drag down forward, but he fast fell a little bit too much, and thus he was not able to connect the second hit of it. But I love the attempt. Right okay, now he's gonna maybe try to get a platform extension on Yoshi's, but not able to find the drifting in a little bit too far to the left. Lonesome definitely like innovating with some of these falling, uh, fast falling up airs, trying to catch, trying to not only juggle but the land and combo with them. Just batting him away with the with the reflector and jumps. Great so, call out on the recovery though. That nail is so active, but he was unable to get back onto time to punish. Right okay, now, that's going to be the up tilt. That's unfortunate because he landed with a full, like a full platform, a top platform tomahawk onto, looking for the grab, and he grabbed the other way. Yep. Shame. And again, another great uh, punish up tilt. That'll do it. Beautiful commitment. Falco, of course, having one of the tallest, I believe, full hops in the game, is just able to go so, so far up vertically to be able to punish that. Have a hammer zero suit. A lot of these, a lot of these phantasms are going on stage. He's got to be careful with that. But the slant making it hard to punish that down smash, which reached all the way there. Yeah, got a little bit more mixing of going to ledge, but you also got got to be careful with uh, going to ledge against Link since his ledge trapping is so potent. And something, I mean, like, obviously, that's just not just Falco, but in any matchup. Um, get, getting back to stage is going to be the hardest part of the game. You have a really linear, somewhat exploitable recovery. So, with, like, it's all about, like, okay, I'm going to definitely take damage. How do I take damage in such a way that I can keep rolling the dice? What a snipe. And not even risk dying for it. So, interesting thing with this stage. You're... It's picked so that Link can't just like put bomb at ledge and force you to deal with it with on uh, neutral getup and getup attack and things like that. But the bomb instead now rolls off the yep. slants and down the wall, which is uh, potentially dangerous for someone like Falco, whose only whose fire fire bird can only move in a generally vertical pattern. And if it rolls off at the right time, it'll bump him as he goes for the Falco Phantasm and confirm into the explosion. So. Right now, I'm just like, I gotta say, I'm surprised that JFK is not able to get more off of those up airs. He got more off of those up throws. He saw him land an up throw up air, and that was it. He ended his string right there. Despite, like, Falco, like, that's that's where Falco thrives. Yeah, you gotta be careful on which end, what part of the hit you get with the up air. Because if it's the late hit, oftentimes that's the end. But if you're getting the early hit where the heals are, which is oftentimes why a lot of Falcos, oh, that was so nice. And the back air not killing quite yet, even on Yoshi's. There you go. But the down air <laughs> trading with the up B, of course, Link not having the biggest oh, box on sorry. the way going up not above changed. his head. His head is very vulnerable. His head is very exposed. Um, He's got a big wingspan. And I uh, feel like, wingspan. like, finally... <laughs> I'm here all week. But, <laughs> and... <laughs> um, my entire train of thought has been... I'm sorry. <laughs> You're all good. Um... What I want to say, I feel uh, like Lone, I feel like JFK is starting to pick up a little bit more on Lone's habits, especially his angle of recovery. Lone has to be ready to mix it up just a little bit more, and maybe be a little bit haste, less hasty with those neutral airs, because you see JFK also just starting to punish like a neutral air that he would like, throw out a disadvantage for seemingly no reason. He's starting, to, he's starting to scout out a couple of interactions, like he went for an up smash on an air dodge, and unfortunately he mistimed the up smash, but he's scouting out a couple of these defensive options that Lone has to start mixing up. Yep. A really great reflector on Link's bomb, but of course he can still pick it up. He can still that need it at will. Reflecting Link's bomb is not necessarily the play of choice, just because it doesn't do all that much. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really get you anything, does it? <laughs> Just I, it, it changes the trajectory of the bomb, but still can picking it up. And like you see, Lone committing off stage to try to punish Falco, but he is losing so much stage control for it. I would like to see maybe a down air from Lonesome instead of like those falling backers, just because like yes, it's a high commitment, but Falco isn't going anywhere when he's going with Uppy. He's just sitting there. Beautiful bomb recovery back on, but. Brain trap catching the deep, the air dodge down and in. Mm. 
with the sweetest of sweet spots. And that's something you have to be really careful of. If a Falco's in the air of you and you need a directional air dodge, I just recommend directional air dodging in front of Falco because what's the worst that can happen? You're going to get hit with forward air. You know, much Six. better than taking a back air. Significantly less threatening, that is for sure. All the power of that uh, of that up the outer shield. What's that? Oof. That had to have been misinputted. Not entirely sure about Lonesome's attention, and like once again, like Lonesome doing a fantastic job. Great forward to seal out the stock, but he would be wincing every time he loses a stock. So he just has to be careful of like getting the discouraged preemptively. He's getting off of ledge really, really soon. Like he needs to be a little bit more patient. What's a great thing about uh, JFK doing with these ledge traps is he's committing to one option, which is incentivizing Lonesome to then uh, pick his pick his uh, pick his option right then. It's like, oh, he he landed with forward air, time to roll, and all it takes is for at that point is a is a pivot back F tilt. He's getting a lot of mileage out of this F tilt. Uh, and that is going to be the up tilt into up air, unable to find the second up tilt, which would have definitely sealed the stock. Lonesome, so smart not to go for an up out of shield there. He just didn't want to risk it. He's like, okay, he's going to try to shield us and then he'll kill me. So, just like great, like, like, I love the fact that he was just playing so patiently. That's a beautiful bomb to almost fully reset the neutral there. Imagine if Link could detonate bomb and hit stun. Like, Shulk's arts. Why do you say these things? <laughs> just to make me upset? <laughs> It'd be cool. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be cool, but it'd be something. <laughs> yeah, like you just hit Link with that. He was like, "Oh, hold up! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get out of here." Got a blast. <laughs> oh, he fell on um, the boomerang, saving <gasps> life. What? A, so, like, just like great patience, making sure that the explosion's not gonna be reflected. But I believe the forward over there took out the stock, and he's just sitting in shield. That's gonna be the after off stage, gain a little bit of stage control. What a tech. Oh, he was rocketing at that speed. And, like, you just see, like, like JFK not ready for that. Like, like, he just almost let Lonesome get back to the three, but I believe that was a down tilt yeah. that, that sealed off the stock there. And there we go. That's the Falco. Uh, that's the Falco up there. Yeah, up there, forward, 71%, 74. He has to get back on. So smart oh, to recover towards the edge of the stage just to make sure he's not going to get hit with a spike. Good, good DI. Like all of these combos are still with really good DI from Lonesome. Sometimes, yeah. like Falco, just gets conversions and he does a lot of damage. But he's doing a great job of minimizing the damage and avoiding a lot of these, uh, <laughs> avoiding a lot of the kill potential. But as I say that, he, like the situation just keeps getting reset. And he got, he could have dash attacked or something. <laughs> oh. Reflected. And the ah. reflective bomb is gonna take it out. And I do believe this is still best of five. Devin, can we get? Can we get? Top 12, top 12 best is of best of five. Okay. Here I was thinking that losers was going to be best of three. Alas, I was mistaken. Oh my gosh. I'm going to... This set is like like really, really interesting because you just see both of these players taking turns, dealing so much damage on each other. Falco being a more explosive character. Once Falco gets something started, it's harder for Falco to get something started, but once Falco gets something started, that's going to be a big, big exchange, big punish. Link, maybe a little bit more conservative, but still play with that mindset. Getting the nail, nail into the grab. That's 45% right off the bat, but now it's Falco's turn to play. And 27 quickly, and an offstage situation. A good challenge from Lonesome right there, using this, using this fair to beat back whatever uh, JFK was trying to... It looked like he was trying to spike him. That is a fantastic punish, but unfortunately not get he hit him a little bit too far to the edge of the the too far towards the center of the uppy actually. Uh, that, that's why he fell out of it. So smart of lonesome. Now I'm curious. If uh, Falco has a fire element while recovering, can Lonesome just Z drop a bomb on top of him and it'll immediately explode? I'm pretty sure you're right about yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds correct. Because I mean, it's the one—it's the one thing that makes Simon better in this matchup than Richter, because the fire attributes yeah. of his holy water detonate the bomb. So if and fire, Fox and Falco both burn on contact. So they do, right? Yeah. So I think it's entirely possible that Lonesome might be able to get like a very easy edge guard attempt, not even committing to a down in, but just like Z dropping the bomb on him. Um, also, I just wanted to quickly mention, how did that first stop get take place? You just saw Lonesome throw out an F smash and then he immediately threw out an up and that took it out. Just like a really scary exchange.
Pulls the bomb, but instead he holds onto it. Yeah, that's like J JFK's like routine with ledge guarding. Comes almost down to like short hop forward air, land with it, and pivot back and react to what's coming. Yeah. Oh, but there was a nice mix up there with the the up tilt in order to get the, get further strings. Uh, 136 as he gets the landing hit, but getting sending him the wrong way. Oh, lonesome. He's a little bit too hasty getting back to stage. <gasps> Bomb blows him up, but he blows him up the other way. Yeah. He had the right idea, but if he had just drifted a little bit indifferently, he I can't to believe get that the kill again. Did that reset? He missed the tap on the platform, and then he just got the jab lock off of it. 66, 83 percent from a single up tilt, just because he got one air dodge and one tech chase. Lonesome him at 110 percent. How? Reading what that spot out. out raw, it's like, I know that he you're going like, to spot it, out do right it. here. Press the button. You won't do it, big boy. And guess what? He did, and he got F smash for it. Unbelievable. Lonesome bomb in hand. The bomb is such a fantastic interruption tool because as he Z drops it, like, it could just, like, stop Falco and his jacks really quickly. A fantastic hold pommel uh, to wait for the boomerang to come back. And, ah. Did he try? He tried to dash forward and get another jab. Careful with that. Good DI, but that's going to send you up. What? But not enough. He was at 100 something. It's, and he's still he's living. He's fine. Link's, a, Link's got some beef on him, supposedly. But uh, he didn't DI down. Wait, what? But he's alive. Did you just see how slow but he is? But he missed the bomb recovery again. Yeah. Uh. You know what? Every time I see Lonesome on stream, it's like I've just snorted a line of some substance that is illegal. Uh, I wouldn't Ooh. know anything about that, guys. No, I encourage you guys to do that. Ooh. But um, and spicy I, in here. Yeah. 